Where's it to go? Well, now out today, everybody. This is Jordan Jones on my playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really, really appreciate that. Um, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on the bell to be notified every time my new videos come out. Um, if you want to enter my giveaway I'll be doing next Wednesday, don't forget to click on the link in the description below and let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. What is your least favorite Mario power-up of the Mario series? I'm going to be honest and say that my least favorite power-up, that my least favorite, has to be the Mini Mushroom because that's definitely the worst power-up I've ever used. Because it's more of a hassle than like, wow, they gave me a propeller suit on this thing? That's awesome! I was about to say this, that um, the mini mushroom is a lot more of a hassle than a benefit. Because the mini mushroom is so annoying to use. I really hate that power of a lot. Nothing comes close to as bad as the mini mushroom. Some people might be like, there's power ups in other Mario games that are terrible. Like, nothing comes close to as bad as the mini mushroom. Like, it's a, it's a whole new level of bad. Like it's the worst power up ever. Um, another power up I'm kind of not too fond of. I'm kind of not too fond of the Spring Mario suit either, because that's definitely one of the worst suits I've ever used in a Mario game. Because because it's more of a hassle than like a benefit to Mario's repertoire or Mario's gameplay. Because the Spring suit's hard to control. Like the Spring suit's hard to control if you don't know what you're doing. Like it's difficult to control that suit. I know. That's how difficult it is to use. Especially if you don't know how to use it. Especially if you have not mastered the controls of it. That's how difficult it is to use. Okay. There's our first dark one. Pretty easy. That's all you gotta do. And your second dark one's here. This is... Just a this level, this is a prime example of completely hidden for the Stark Ones in this game. Because I told you in the last episode that how the Stark Ones really well in this game. Wow, there we go, we got our second Stark One. <clears throat> and the third Stark One, you know what? We have to use a terrible power-up, which is the Mini Mushroom, which is the worst power-up in... Now, we're going to get introduced to the worst power-up in the Mario series, the Mini Mushroom. The reason why everyone hates this power-up with a burning passion is because you become mini and if you get hit once you get killed. So, um, Mini Mushroom, the only cool thing about him in New Super Mario Bros. U is that, um, the only cool thing about him, I have to say, is that, um, is that he can run up, run up walls and stuff, and he can walk on water, and he can run up walls, and he can go on walls and stuff, and he can walk on walls, which is really awesome. So take advantage of that while you have the mini mushroom, and he can and he can go up walls with that. And it's really cool. That's the only cool thing about him. There we go. So now what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna take out the propeller suit, cause I'm gonna show you guys the propeller suit. Um. Cause I want to use a propeller suit this time. What we can do with the propeller suit is you can do drills, you can fly high in the sky and stuff. Cause I love this power up. I still like the squirrel suit more, but this is a pretty awesome suit too. I probably like this equally as much as I did the B Mario suit. It's so we can let's talk about least favorite power ups. Like I said, I'm not too fond of the mini mushroom, and I'm not too fond of the spring Mario suit. Um, and I'm kind of not too fond of the penguin suit either, but I don't know why, but penguin suit ain't that bad. It just doesn't do too, too, too much special. Penguin suit just doesn't do too much special. That's why the penguin suit is one of my least favorite power-ups. Um, because it doesn't do too much special. Um, keep in mind, this is where the secret exit is at this level. It's not that hard. Um, and I'm kind of not too fond of the boomerang suit either. Another power up that kind of sucks is the blue shell, which is a shell suit from New Super Mario Bros. DS. Cause that power up is terrible, I'm not gonna lie. Have you played around with Shell Mario before? Cause his controls are anus. Whenever you start running really quick, his controls are butthole. 
Like, that is how bad he is. <laughs> like, I really hate using, um, that power up. <laughs> like, have you played around before with that? And have you played around before with Spring Mario 2? Because Spring Mario's controls are all over the place, pretty much. Because his controls are bouncy. <laughs> Like, here we go. Now we're going to do Larry Cake Desert 5, Dry Desert Mushrooms. Excuse me, we're rocking this world. Give me a power up. Give me a squirrel suit. I'd rather have the squirrel suit than the propeller suit. I thought I'll show off the propeller suit either way. Um, just let me know down in the comments below for questions in the video. What is your least favorite power up in the Mario series? I would love to know what is your least favorite. I already know what my least favorites are. There we go. Your third star coin's an example of completely hidden and it's right here. You have to go inside the top. There you go. We're just, we have not even died once in this playthrough. Guess what? We've not even died once so far in this playthrough. That is surprising that we did not even die once. Guess what? We made it. We're, we're almost done with World 2 and we've not even died once. That's how amazing we're doing. All right, so here we go to 2-6. Probably my least favorite level of World 2, I have to say, but Blooming Lakitu's, I mean, this level's not bad. It's just, it's just my least favorite level in World 2. I'll keep the squirrel suit to stay safe because it's the best power up to use. Um... Get our first star coin. Um. Okay. Come on, come on, Lakitu. Give me your cloud. This level's annoying because you have to use Lakitu's clouds. I mean, it's not, it's not a difficult level by any means, but like this is really not hard at all. Once you, once you know how to use Lakitu's clouds, it's not hard at all. Like it is not that hard at all. You just gotta do that. And we go in here. You can get yourself a power up in here, a random power up depends on what it says right there. And there we go, that was easy. And we have 37 lives now. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and do the secret level now, because we always do the castle last, of course. Wow, that was pretty good. Um. This year and next year both will have lots of exciting things on my YouTube channel. So be looking forward to that. Piranha Plants on Ice. This level's pretty easy. This, this is a pretty easy level right here. This level's not hard.
Maybe there's a glitch or something with the Switch version. Maybe the Switch version has a glitch or something. Um. Wow! That was the first death of the playthrough. Like I said, this level's not hard. Like, it's really not hard at all. Like, I just really is not that hard at all. Uh, okay, you gotta be fast here, because you gotta be fast. If you get crushed by those ice, it's instant death. And and you have to do this to get your first star coin. I was having to go fast so that I can do it right there. Okay, so... Okay. Okay, so this part's not hard at all. We just gotta do this. I love snow levels. I love ice and snow levels so much. So I like this level pretty good. Um. Okay, so we're gonna be careful. Wow! I'm just trouncing this level now. I know, I know I've only died once. I know I've died once, but I'm just trouncing it. Oh, this level's really not hard at all. Like, I can beat it easily on the Wii U version. <laughs> Cause I can do speedruns in this game on the Wii U version, like... Alright. We're not going to save just yet, but... Guess what? We have one more level left of World 2, and that is Morton's Compactor Castle. Alright. Here we go, Morton. Alright, this castle here is pretty easy. It's a joke. It's pretty easy, I have to say this. Okay, so that's your first dark one. The first dark one's probably the hardest dark one to get. You want to go inside this pop up here in order to get your second star coin. And you want to do this. And there we go. Oh my gosh! 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 Okay. So I'm really quiet right now. I'm just trying to concentrate because I don't want to die. I really don't want to die. I'm just trying to concentrate. Okay. We're gonna fight Morton. He's a little more difficult in this game than he was in the other new Super Mario Bros. games, but still pretty easy once you know his attack patterns and everything. So here's Morton Koopa. Any ground pounds? Okay, so if you have the spoil suit, you can do this. Even though I got hit and I lost the squirrel suit, that does not matter. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you have to... As soon as he comes out of the shell, that's the best time to attack him. Before he does that, run in here. And there we go, we're done with World 2. That simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh yeah, we're down the layer cake desert. Excuse me. We only died one time in the playthrough so far. That's great. You got all the star coins in Layer Cake Desert. That's gotta mean something good, right? Yes, it surely does. And we're definitely saving. And next time, we're gonna go to Sparkling Waters, which is World 3. Even though this is a 2D Mario game, I'm a fan of this water world. I love this water world. This is one of the best worlds of this game, so we'll be tackling it next time. I love water levels, man. Even though I don't really like the water levels in 2D Mario games too much, but I'm a fan of this water world. I love this water world. I love water levels in general. The only water levels I don't like are just the ones in 2D Mario games. And alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like and have a and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. And don't forget to click on the bell to be notified every time my new videos come out. And don't forget to enter that giveaway. If you want to enter the giveaway, don't forget to click on the link in the description below. And have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.